I'm Veronica Yu. Today I'm not going to cook. I will show you what you have to prepare to stabilize your blood sugar level and to stay in ketosis. Because um, when you go into a ketogenic diet, the most important is you want to control your blood sugar level. Because we are not going to use glucose, which is a sugar, and convert to glucose. We're not going to use the glucose as an energy source. We are going to use ketones body, so which is like we have to burn our fat, right? So that's going to be the energy source for uh, stay in the ketosis to burn fat. Here's the thing. Uh, some people just like to try to get all the supplementation to actually uh, stabilize their blood sugar level. But I suggest you to use your natural source of food and herbs and spices. That's the best way because we use every single day when you cook and eat. So if my client, if they watch this one right now, they know they have this in their kitchen. It's that important. So I will share a very simple tip how to use, how uh, much you have to use it. Okay, the first, apple cider vinegar. Um, it's also really uh, the, uh, uh, reduced your blood sugar level. It's really helped to improve also digestion. It's really important. So I suggest you to have for at least um, one to three tablespoons. If you can't stand, oh, I can have a piece of vinegar, then maybe, you know what, just one tablespoon you add into your huge big salad to kind of get used to it and then as you go and then maybe you want to increase a little bit before using just an apple cider vinegar and water and drink it. And if you really cannot stand this one, your next option also, lemon and lime is excellent. It also helps to uh, stabilize your blood sugar level and it uh, gives you a high antioxidant in your blood. So. Let's say if you want to have a lemon, at least I want you to have two to three lemons per day. Just squeeze in your water or like squeeze in your like seafood or your uh, salad. And so you just have that. It's going to help you to stabilize your blood sugar level. And another thing, um, I keep on mentioning about turmeric. Because turmeric, I use this one as like a medication. I don't take like other supplement like a foam for the turmeric, I use just powder, the organic powder. Uh, you don't need a lot, just have one teaspoon per day. And this is really important to reduce your inflammation to uh, help uh, lower your blood sugar level. It's, it's excellent. If you actually, uh, when you cook or you know, add in your water, whatever, especially when you cook your meal, Add turmeric and then if you add the black pepper a little bit tiny little bit black pepper and the oil like coconut oil or like olive oil or grass-fed butter as a good saturated fat if you add with the fat together the absorption of uh, turmeric is times two so it's excellent so you should use the turmeric every day add a little bit start with it if you can't um, if you're not used to it but once you get used to it, you will love it. My, for example, in the morning, I have my eggs. I add the turmeric, I add my key because I cook with the key. And I add my black pepper, and then also I add avocado, the good fat, and the turmeric, the mix with my eggs. It's excellent. You can use that too. And here, another one. Um, I put this one coconut oil, you can use a coconut butter as well. Put coconut butter is excellent to actually bake anything because there's a stick inside, there's a coconut flour. But if you're gonna cook, use a coconut oil. Or you can use an MCT oil if you don't like a coconut uh, the flavor. Use the MCT oil. That's actually very easy to digest in your system. It's to help you um, stabilize your blood sugar level. And cinnamon. Cinnamon everywhere. Like, I add cinnamon in my uh, protein shake, and also I add for my baking, you know, the pastry, and also I add this one for my coffee as well. So, not a lot. You don't need a lot of cinnamon per day. You just have to have at least half teaspoon of cinnamon per day. It's going to help you uh, the, uh, stabilize your insulin level, which is so. Stabilize your blood sugar level. And the last one, this one, uh, nutritional yeast. Some people, they don't know about nutritional yeast. 
Nutritional is is very high in vitamin B1 and also other vitamin B12 and 6 and niacin and there's a high in vitamins. It's it's an excellent source to get the vitamin D and this is actually reduced to help to reduce your stress hormone. So therefore it regulates, stabilize your blood sugar level. This is very important. Uh, people who get a lot of stress, they're always tired and they cannot control this, their stress hormone. I suggest to have a nutritional yeast every single day. How you use this? You can use this one, um, one or two tablespoons per day. If you like kefir, like a fermented those, uh, um, like um, yogurt, you can add that to one tablespoon, mix it, and you can just have it as a snack. Or in my case, I add everything in my food, in my salad, I meat. I make sure that I have a nutritional yeast. And the warning. You have to get the really high quality nutritional yeast. If you go by just cheap stuff, actually it's not good for your health. So get like a go any like yeah, organic store or even like you know online, you know, shopping, go there, get the quality nutritional yeast and have it. And don't really do like you know, oh it's very good with the popcorn, you know, I'm gonna sprinkle everywhere. No. If you wanna stay in the ketogenic diet, you wanna stay away from corn. So that's not really a good idea. So that. And I didn't put another thing. Okay. I use a probiotic every morning. So my capsule is like a 50 uh, billions per caps. Uh, probiotic, you know, it's really protect and they reduce inflammation in your gut. And therefore, it's helping your digestive system and regulates your blood sugar. So it's really important. Or if you don't want to uh, get this probiotic, actually it's really important, but if you don't want to get it, at least have a fermented food, such as like, you know, you can have like kimchi, if you're Korean, if you like a kimchi, or uh, sauerkraut, or you can have uh, uh, like a kefir, and you can have, uh, or other, like even pickles. And also you can have, uh, um, what else is fermented? Yes, it's like those like uh, miso, it's like a Japanese miso, and those things, that um, it's really help to protect and the, uh, bring down the inflammation in your gut and it helps your blood sugar a little bit because when you reduce inflammation in your gut, what happens, it automatically reduces your stress hormone. Therefore, and you can stabilize your blood sugar level. Yeah, that's it. And I think that's all for now. The first apple cider vinegar lemon and lime and turmeric and coconut oil <clears throat> cinnamon nutritional yeast and <clears throat> probiotic or fermented food that's going to help you to stabilize your blood sugar level to stay in ketosis so you know try to get one thing at a time not everything it's good if you can get everything but if you can't just to get like okay i'm gonna start today for three days lemon and then you know what i'm gonna add a little bit of maybe cinnamon for my smoothie or my shake and then a week later oh you know what i'm going to try a little bit of you know coconut oil in my cooking so that's what you can actually improve your health overall Thank you for watching Make One Nutrition. See you next time.